Ahoy, fellow Vita comrades, and welcome to your regular Homebrew content. Big things have finally arrived, and in this episode we are checking out brand new PS Vita port that has been just released and it is called This War of Mind. First we'll be flying through the installation process, and then we are looking at its performance and all the good stuff. So without any further ado, let's dive right into it. First and foremost, big up to the PS Vita head aficionados, Rin and Flow, that has brought us this magnificent piece of art. Thanks for the hard work, it's greatly appreciated. Now quickly to the installation process. The guide is in the description below, so I would strongly advise you to follow it precisely step by step, but if you've ever installed any of the Android Vita ports, you know exactly what to do. Same old story. First install the plugins, Kubrich, FDFix, Lipshack G, Overclock your Vita for smoother frame rate. Then get game files, copy and rename .obb and .so files into the uxdata slash twom, install vpk and have a blast. Now let's check the game. This War of Mine, original developed by Polish 11-bit studios, is a 2D slow-paced single-player survival-themed strategy game where the player, player controls a group of civilian survivors in a makeshift damaged houses and the main goal of the game is to stay alive with the tools and materials that the player can gather. The atmospheric music is simply breathtaking. Most of the characters have no military background and they will require constant intervention by the player in order to stay alive. The player must maintain their character's health, hunger and mood levels until the declaration of ceasefire, which occurs after a randomized duration. The game fits perfectly onto the PS Vita in my opinion, and I feel honored we have been blessed with this release. The loading takes some time, the frame rate is around 20 FPS, usually under, Sometimes higher, but it is stable and playable, no crashes. Also, please keep in mind it is the 1.0 release, so I would guess some quality of life improvements are coming our way sooner or later. The controls are good, the L and R 2 and 3 buttons are also utilized on the rear touchpad, like in every other Vita game with default settings. I would prefer it to be mapped onto the front touchscreen and not rear touchpad, but it's easy to get used to it, so I'm fine with that. You are switching the characters with R and L2 and zooming in and out with the R and L3. All in all, this war of mine is a great addition to the PS Vita Homebrew library and it is great we can finally enjoy it on our favorite discontinued handheld platform. The VPK also supports This War of Mine stories, Father's Promise and Little One's DLC. So in a way, it's like a complete PS Vita This War of Mine package. Also, the game was released on the Flow's GitHub page. And if this is his retirement, I'm absolutely fine with that. <laughs> One more time thanks to the developers for porting it over. It's a pleasure to have you here. And now everybody quickly get it running to save your every little moment spent in game. And that would be it for this video guys, if you enjoyed it please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to not miss upcoming content, check all the links down below, especially the affiliate ones, follow me on socials, I would like to thank you all for watching and I'll see you in the next one, namaste.